Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. And in this video, I want to share with you a little workflow that I'm using in this mix for some stacked keyboard parts to give them some width and space and basically some interest. I'm going to play you this little arrangement I have, and then I'll deconstruct for you what I've done. Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? You're just one lost soul here to break. So this is the keyboard part. I've got three stat keyboards all playing the same thing and they're outputting to bus one and arriving at this bus and they're kind of bland on their own, just pretty vanilla. Now I've got another bus set up here, receiving the signal from bus one and I'm blending this in in parallel. So let me play what I'm doing here. I'm gonna solo just this bus. Now to start with, I have a compressor and I have the kick drum feeding into the side chain to give it a bit of a pumping effect. and there's some makeup gain here. So I've got a fairly quick attack, and I've set the release to get the kind of pumping feel that I want. Now after this, I have a channel EQ. Just filtering the low end, just to thin it out a little bit. And now I've got a direction mixer. And this is actually doing a lot. We have split mode here. That's kind of a nice hidden feature. It's a mono maker. If you use it the way I'm using it here, I'm splitting the signal in this case at 340 and I'm monoizing the signal below that with this and then spreading the frequencies above 34 or 340. Now, after this, I've got a chorus just to add some modulation to it. And I'm using the dimension mode. I mean, it's more subtle and nuanced and interesting. And then I've got tremolo to add a little bit of movement from side to side. So now I'll bring it up. Here's the original keys. So it's really making it a much more interesting part, I think. But you miss it. Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. When you see me, do you believe in a higher love? 